This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hello creative people, welcome back to another brand new video by Mr. Rappi. In this video, I am going to show you how to animate any screenshot or photo in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So guys, we have a great video for today, so let's get started and have some fun. Before starting, I have something to mention about the sponsor of this video. Envato Elements is a digital platform where you will get more than 55 million plus assets like fonts, photos, video templates, Photoshop templates and many more. You will get a nice simple license to get unlimited access. Also your license will count even after your subscription has ended. You will get a link from the description of this video, get an annual subscription and you will get 50% off. That means you are getting access to everything for less than $20 per month. First of all, import your footage on the timeline. Now increase the duration. Now let's import one image for background. Go to effects and search for Gaussian blur. Then drag and drop it on the background image. Now go to effects control and check repeat edge pixel. Then increase the blurness. Now go to the beginning and increase the scale. Then click on the watch icon to make a keyframe. Then go some second right and decrease the scale. Now drag the keyframes in the beginning and end. I'll add a video on my screenshot. Now let's add some glowing effect. Go to effects and search for drop shadow. Now go to effects control and change the shadow color. Then make the distance 0 and increase the softness. Now select the screenshot layer and the video layer. Then right click and nest them together. Now go to effects and search for basic 3D. Then drag and drop it on the nested sequence. Now go to effects control and check highlight. Decrease the tilt value and adjust the swivel. Now click on the watch icon to make a keyframe. Then go some second right and change the value. Now place the keyframe on the beginning and the end. Now let's preview the animation. Go to effects and search for transform. Now let's create a in and out transition. Also increase the shutter angle for motion blur.
so guys that's it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed the video give a thumbs up to my video also subscribe my channel for more videos thank you see you next time till then have some fun